Today we have completely filled our latest addition to our compost bin system. So I'm going to add a fourth addition here right next to this so that we can start using it to fill up with our next set of compost. But I have to dig this out and there's a lot of snow. Okay, so I've dug this out. You can see the moss and the Labrador tea right here. Now I have to go dig out the two pallets that I have placed conveniently this summer. I thought, oh, I'm gonna protect these so I can get them during the winter, which I did kind of, but I also put it in the open wood shed. I've been shoveling that snow off the wood shed and actually packing those in. So it's gonna take a little work to get them out. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna to have to put on my snowshoes to even reach them because the, the snow is pretty deep. This is a lot less varied than I thought it was gonna be. So this might be easier to get out than I had initially thought. See, it's right there. So woohoo! The other one's a little deeper. Cool. Uh, I thought that was gonna be a lot tougher, but I think that one may be a, a little tough, but this one I think I'll be able to slide right out. This is the second one. You can see that it's buried here under a number of feet of snow. So it's going to take a little bit to get out. I thought this was going to be easy. It was not because there's so little clearance here in between these studs that uh, I couldn't get it out. So got a new plan. So I consulted with Richard about the pallet situation and we decided we both actually came up to the same idea. So is that great minds think alike? Yeah. And we're going to borrow this pallet. This is a heavy duty pallet too, so that'll be good. Okay. Oh, that's coming out easy. I thought I was gonna have to try it out with ice. Oh my gosh, you're hired. You are hired. Oh, it's my good pallet too. That, that baby's uh, heavy duty. It's gonna hold some crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
step off the path. Don't step off the path. Piece of firewood. Under here. I thought it was all the way, but okay. All right. Screw. Awesome. New battery. There we go. The next part in our four part series of compost bins. Now I'm going to be putting uh, the deep litter from the chicken coop into there to start up the compost. Oh, there goes the rooster. Hi guys, it's going to be a little bit scary, so I'd prefer if you left, but you know, if you insist on staying, that's cool too. Have a plan <laughs> could go horribly wrong but I'm gonna try okay did not work I'm a little concerned too because I've dug out a couple feet of snow in front of the compost bin. Um, so I have a couple feet on the other one so it's been really easy to dump and now I'm afraid I have this big huge slick step to empty our waste in which is fine with this hard frozen chicken poop but when we you know when I empty the compost from the toilet, uh, it's gonna be a slippery slope, so I'll have to be extra cautious. <laughs> okay. Okay, my plan worked pretty well last time, so I'm hoping, yep, if I make it light enough, I can just dump it in here. There we go. There we have it, the beginnings of the compost pile. And uh, I will um, just, you know, put things in the middle as I'm adding to it. So this is a good, good base layer though, of straw and chicken poop. 
For today, I'm gonna borrow my lid that I've been using on my single compost bin lid and transfer it over. Tomorrow, I'm gonna find a covering for my old compost uh, single layer top. There we have it. This is covered. Here we have a clean coop for now. Until the next time. So today I need to cut a bunch of branches so I can put it on top of the compost bin that we just finished. We don't have any more pieces of uh, scrap plywood so uh, we're improvising here because I don't want to use anything new of course. So I'm just going to put a bunch of branches down and hopefully that'll keep most of the water out. And uh, we'll be using the other two compost come spring anyways in the garden that I'll be moving that one that's covering those two over. I'm probably going to cut it in half though because I do not like moving around a big four by eight sheet of three quarter inch plywood. It's not fun. So I'll probably cut that one in half and then move that over. But this is my temporary fix in case it snows. Uh, you know we're supposed to have snow in the next couple days so I want to kind of get that somewhat waterproofed. So this is the plan. <laughs> we had a few trees come down this winter. I think there's three here. I think I'm going to hit that furthest one out because that looks like that's the newest addition and I don't want to have to whack up as much snow. This will make it easier. Getting this first couple ones is uh, the hardest. Then you kind of get in the rhythm of it and you've got a little clearing where you can step close to it. to say it's pretty hard going through the forest carrying a bunch of branches because the branches want to catch on all the trees that are, are still standing and even the ones that are down so you can see my hat over there as a casualty as I was walking through because <laughs> everything wants to catch on everything I'm gonna do at least three more big package of sticks like this. We appreciate you watching our channel and we hope to catch you in the next video. Thank you and have a great day.